And what is age? Age is class height, which is equal to 20. Okay. Q1 हम calculate कर रहे हैं, Q1 का formula क्या है हमारे पास? Q1 is equal to L plus, यह हमारे पास Q1 का formula है, values हम रुपेट कर चुके हैं, हम values put कर रहे हैं, 84.5, हमने values put कर दी यहाँ पर, my respected class people, जब हम इसको calculate करेंगे, तो हमारे पास Q1 आ गया, 96.5, this is Q1, for the required, okay, sorry, for the given, interpretation क्या है हमारे पास, 96.5 is a point in the data set, below which, 25% observations lie or we can say 75% observations lie above 96.5. This is very important to remember the interpretation of your results. Now we will calculate Q3 for the given data. When we have to calculate Q3, We will find 3 and 5, 4 observation. 3 and 5, 4 from our first type. 3 into 60 divided by 4, which is equal to 40. The fifth observation is the observation that we need. The fifth observation is Q3. अब हम देखेंगे कि कि हमारे पास ये forty fifth observation lie कहाँ कर रहे हैं? In which class? ये class की हमारे पास Q1 है. This is for Q1. Okay. अब हम फिर Q3 find करने हैं. Q3 के लिए हम देखते हैं कि हमारे पास कौन सी क्लास है। अब तो हम फर्स्ट क्लास देखते हैं इसकी जो हमारे पास कम्युलेटिंग फीचर्स है डेट इस नाइन। सेकंड वन इस नाइनटीन। यहाँ पे भी फोर्टी फिफ्थ ऑब्जर्वेशन नहीं है। थर्ड पे मूव करेंगे। हमारे पास कम्युलेटिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी आ रही है 36, यानी कि 45 ऑब्जर्वेशन यहाँ पे भी लाए नहीं करी। इन द फोर्थ क्लास कम्युलेटिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी इस 46, इसका मतलब है 45 ऑब्जर्वेशन हमारे पास इस क्लास में लाए गए। This is a required class। हम इसको सिलेक्ट कर लेते हैं। Now this one is a selected class for Q3. ये हमारे पास Q3 के लिए class. तो selected class की lower class form भी is L. Selected class की lower class form भी is L. Frequency is F. Selected class के previous class की cumulating frequency is represented by C. Okay. हम क्या करेंगे? अपने formula में values put कर देंगे. और formula is इसको values put कर देंगे 124.5 into sorry plus 20 divided by 10, 45 
minus 46 3 by 9 36. जब हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे तो ये भी 142.5 सो आर थर्ड क्वार्टर फॉर द गिवन डेटा सेट इज 142.5 एंड व्हाट इज द इंटरप्रिटेशन इंटरप्रिटेशन इज देयर आर 75% ऑफ द रिलेशंस लाइज बिटवीन बिलो 142.5. Now let's move to the deciles for the group data. In deciles, the only difference occurs in here. J and button. J represents the place of decile, and as it is decile, it divides data set into 10 equal parts. We divide it by 10. The rest of the procedure is the See. Let's calculate ninth decile for the given data. When we have to calculate D9, first we have to calculate 9 and by 10, which is equal to So D4 is the 54th observation. Now we will see in which class 54th observation lies. In fourth class we have cumulating frequency 46. In fifth cumulating frequency is 51. In sixth cumulating frequency is 55. It means 54th observation lies in this class. So, this is our required class. We will select this class. This is 9th decile class. Our 9th decile lies in this class. This is D9. The lower class boundary of the selected class is L. Frequency of the selected class is F. And cumulating frequency of previous class is C. Now we will find D9. Formula is L plus H by F nine N by ten minus C. We will put values one sixty four point five. 4.5 plus H is 20. Frequency is 4. Minus C is 20. So I calculated this. We will have D9 that is 179.5. And what is the interpretation? What does this point give us? This point 179.5 tells us that there are 90% observations lies below this point. Now, we will move to the percentiles. 
person has for group data. Again, the difference comes here. J n by 100. Um, percentile point karen. So, humare paas yahaan pe jo division mein aate ka, wo 100. Let's find 81 percentile for the given data. When we have to find 81 percentile, first we have to calculate J n by 100. And this is equal to 48.6. So, our P8 is 48.6 observation. Now, we will see where this observation lies. By using cumulating frequency, we are able to locate that our required observation lies in fifth class. And this class. This class. This is a required class. Now, the rest of the procedure is same. This is our selected class. Lower class boundary of the selected class is represented by L. Frequency of the selected class is represented by F. And cumulating frequency of the previous class is represented by C. Now, P8 is there we have eighty one N by hundred minus C by putting Here is our one fifty four point nine. This is our P eighty one eighty one percentile. And what will be the interpretation of this point? P eighty one or one fifty four point Nine is a point in our data set below where eighty one percent observation lies. Okay, this is for one. This is also lecture six.